Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing part 2 of making a pastel coloured solar system. So without further ado guys we're just going to hop straight into this. So first thing I want to do is I want to put a background in because it's just uh, too plain at the moment. So we need to have some light pastel colours as a chosen background. So go with I think I'm like a lightest sort of sandy colour sort of like that. And then for the other I want to go with like, like a pale blue. Yeah, so something like this. Yes, I'm liking that already. And have a little play of the contrast. Yeah, definitely do not want to do that. Let's just reset that to one. So yeah, I'm going to leave it like that for the time being. I may actually dim it just slightly. We'll turn up the stars. Uh, brightness. I'll dim it just a tad bit. So it's got some yeah, palish shades in there. Right, that works. Right, uh, ambient brightness. I'll turn all the way down. Right, so there we go. So that's our background down. But yeah, now onto the planets themselves. So um, if we just open the menu here. And wait for it to load, because for some reason it always takes forever to load when I'm recording for the first time. So, really, really weird. But, yeah, what I want to do is, what a trend we've been doing with all of these systems is the deluxe objects here. So, we've had the cold deluxe, the fire deluxe, the grayscale, the neon, and the original rainbow, which I uh, used as a template. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to make the rainbow a pastel deluxe. So, all the colours have got to be a lot more pale. So, if I place it in, uh, I think I'll put it around the main star for the time being. That's a... Uh, Put it there. Right, let's go. Let's go close the menu. Uh, close menu. There we go. Right. So close the menu. Now if I hop to the planet itself. Right, here it is. So what I need to do to this is every single one of these colours needs to be turned into a more pale shade. So stuff like this. So if I just uh, do an example. I'll do, I'll do all of the red colour, for example. So we'll just make all of the red shades a lot more pale. So it's almost looking like pink. But once we get the whole object done... You will see what we are uh, or how it is turned out. So if we look at the uh, top area there, if we just uh, I know you can't use the scroll wheel as much now. Uh, right, see so we can see it up there. So yeah, what I'm going to simply do is just continually just make the colours brighter. There's nothing else we really need to do other than that, really. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this process done, guys, because you don't need to watch me just do it at uh, normal speed. So I'll speed up the footage so you guys can uh, see me uh, build it. But yeah, I'll be with you once it is done. Okay, everyone, what do you think of that? Look how much more pale it is. The pastel colours have truly taken over the Rainbow Deluxe here, but I think it looks really good, I have to say. I mean, look at that. That is really, really cool. I'm definitely, I definitely have to um, get that saved immediately, actually, just in case anything goes wrong. So uh, I guess we'll just call it, uh, yeah, we'll call it, yeah, pastel. Just pastel deluxe. There we go. So let's go ahead and save that. And then I guess we can compare them to the uh, other versions of this uh, planet as well that we've made in the previous episode. So if we go ahead and open up the menu again, go down to uh, the objects, so open them up. Right. Where are our deluxe objects if they would uh, load? Here we go. Right. So we've got one here. So that's the original rainbow. So you can see the difference there. Oh, we've also got the neon one. We've got the fire or the cold deluxe. There we go. So that we've got... All these different versions now. And we have the grayscale as well. Let's put the grayscale um, in here uh, as well. So, yeah, there we go. Something like that. So, there's the uh, full lineup of them all now. Which one of those? I mean, look how much more pale it is compared to the original one. I mean, that is that is quite considerably a lot more pastel coloured than the original. But I think it looks really, really awesome. So, yeah, what do you guys think of that? So, that is the pastel deluxe. So, if go ahead and close them all there. Right, there we go. So, there's pastel deluxe. Looking good. So, uh trail color oh there's one color we missed out so just put that there we go right uh interface i mean i'll just i guess we'll just go with white so there is the pastel deluxe uh, gas giant added in so it's had all bits and labels back on right so there we go so i'm pretty happy with all the objects around the primary star now i think that's a decent amount um of stuff there so now moving on to our secondary star again let's see what sort of objects we could put around here so if you remember last episode we had the custom earth where we made earth a pastel color or made Earth very pastel in colours. So there we go. And then we had Ross 12B, which was a pastel version um, of that as well. But I think what I'll do is I'm going to go for another gas giant around this one. We'll go fresh, fresh off the uh, random gas giants here. So what, what should we do it? 
Uh, we already had one with that name. Uh, let's just go ahead and uh, we'll change it slightly. Let's just remove some of the letters, Sally. There we go. Right. Now, uh, down here, it's already got some sort of pastel sort of shades. I mean, if we just make them lighter, I mean, how would it look if we made them lighter? So, uh, it doesn't even look like we'd have to do much customization. It's already got all the colours there for us. We just have to make them slightly brighter. So, yeah, what do we think of that? I mean, it's a quick job, but, I mean, I think that's looking... I don't think that looks too bad, I have to say. There we are. So, yeah, another pastel um, object added in there. It doesn't have to have a lot of bands to be interesting, so we are put that in. But, yeah, next one out, uh, we'll have that around... We'll have it quite far out from our secondary star, so that still orbits it. Okay, that's fine. Right, now, down here... We'll double its bands up a bit. So we'll go to about... We won't go anything crazy, but we'll go We'll go something like this. So, now, what, what sort of pastel shade should we go for? I'm thinking of a... Uh, maybe a light green with a light orange. So let's try that. So, we'll go green. Then we'll go orange. And then repeat the process. And just see what we end up with. Just see what wacky uh, things we can come up with. So, here we are. This is looking interesting. So, let's just keep it up. Like so. Uh, back to the orange. Make that a little more pale. Ooh, I think the green may be a little too vibrant there, so I do want to have a little uh, look back at that. But keeping uh, this all going, so... Yes! Right, so let's just uh, keep that up there. So orange, green, orange, green. So I think I will retweak a lot of the colours, though. So orange and then uh, green again. Final orange. Right, how does this look? Right, there it is. Uh, not, not too shabby. I mean, I will. that does need to be made more pale. The greens are definitely too strong for this guy. So let's just go ahead and dim the greens out, make them a little more pastel because they're still a little too vibrant in colour. So, yeah, we'll make them a little, uh, little brighter. So there we go. That's our result now with uh, it being pasteled up. So, yeah, I think I'll roll with that. I mean, it looks pretty, pretty, pretty interesting. So there is that one. Yeah, quite, quite a weird choice um, of colour on that one. But, yeah, well, so... There are those guys. So if we get a lineup of all the objects now, so there we go. That's our full lineup of stuff so far. So we have the regular rainbow, the rainbow deluxe, and um, we've got these two new gas giants we've added in: Planet Nine, Wasp 12B, and then uh, PSO. So they all have our gas giants. I think we're going to need another Rocky added in here somewhere. So that is exactly what we are going to do now. So let's get a random Rocky. So where, where should we put the Rocky? Yeah, we'll go around. Yeah, we'll go around a uh, Star B again. So let's uh, put it somewhere in here. Uh, we already have the Earth. That's colonized. Well, it should be colonized. So I guess maybe we could sneak one in between a little further away than Earth, maybe. How about that? So how, how is Earth doing? So yeah, Earth's all good. Right, now this guy here. Let's see if we can get this guy terraformed up. So let's see. It's still got those weird lines on it. I think there's something really wrong with Rockies at the moment. Have all these strange line areas appearing. There we go. So we've got oceans. Uh, surface, atmosphere. Albedo we can lower. Let's uh, go down here. I guess we'll just go over 1.2 ATM. Let's get a bit of um, atmosphere on it going. Looking good. Right. So now we need to see the temperature. So zero degrees. It is warming up. Okay, that is awesome. Right. Uh, 20 degrees. See if it can handle that. Uh, let's actually turn up the infrared. And we're going to lower the albedo, actually. So, albedo, where are you? Uh, melt as well. Can we melt? Oh, the melt button doesn't work. No. <laughs> Right, let's uh, just lower the albedo down really low so it doesn't reflect much light. Now, so, of course, the freeze button works, but the melt button doesn't. So we still have a bit of uh, ice going on here. But either way, that's all right because ice is still quite a light color, so that's fine. Uh, city lights, yes, please. All right, now, surface colors on this guy. So what are we thinking? Ultra light blue, maybe? Purple? What about a lavender purple? What would that look like? So just very, very light shades of purples and pinks. How about that? Uh, not bad, not bad. So uh, we'll keep uh, making them just a tad brighter and a little more purple. It's a little too much pink. So something, something like that. Right. Now, atmosphere. We will have a very light purple with this. So that's more of a pink, actually, isn't it? Uh, I want purple, game. That's weird. How the, that's weird. Yeah, I think atmospheres have definitely got something. See, that's now making like a yellowish shade. That's, oh, that's white, though. That's weird. Yeah, there's definitely something different with the way atmospheres work in here. But I guess we'll just go over light, sort of pinkish shade um, for this guy then. And then uh, interface, I guess we'll go with just a purpley shade. Um, lights. Let's open that. Uh, lights. We'll go with a... Uh, how about some light green lights on a purple world? G 
given us that. So, not yeah, not too shabby. I mean, as I've definitely uh, made prettier before, but yeah, this update 26 seems to have some weird properties with rocky planet atmospheres and stuff. Because I believe the more atmosphere pressure you add, the, the atmosphere visually changes, so it is um, pretty weird in that regard. But yeah, there we go. So the world's all uh, working fine. So there we go. Job done on that guy. So there we are. Right, I think we can probably sneak in another object or so in here. We have a binary that's been set up. We do not want that. So this object needs to lose its mass real quickly. So... Put it down to, uh, we'll guess we'll have a gas to war. We'll go with 1.2 Earths. And auto orbit it around the star. And orbit. Why, why is this not orbiting the main star again? There we go. That's what we want. Oh, that's just broken everything. Oh, my God. That's really annoying when it does that. There we go. So we have to manually just fix all of our orbits around this star. It's because, I think it's because we were playing the simulation with that upset it as well. But let's just quickly go ahead and add our worlds back. Right, there we go. Yeah, look at, oh. It's not even orbiting the star anymore. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do that. Play? Pause? No? Oh, dude, that's... That's um, that's not good. Well, I guess we'll just have them as two separate systems near each other then, because I am not. I don't want to have to go back and have to change and all that uh, stuff. So, there we go. Okay, so there we are. I mean, it, it's, it's still part of the same system, really, isn't it? I mean, it's just the game's messed it up for us, because it's just been annoying. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Why, why is it not orbiting around the main star again? Come on, game, really? All right, whatever. We'll leave it be. So, right. So there's sort of, yeah, two separate systems now. Is this actually escape from... It's actually escape from form, I hope, B. Look. So we'll drag it back to where it belongs. Put it back around the star. It should be around. Oh, now that doesn't want to orbit anything either. Oh, what is going on? Why do you have to do this game? 12 Jupiters is way too large. Let's lower that all down again. I think that's just because the, the large planets messed up the star orbit, so... Orbit the star. Come on. No? Play? There you go. Right. We'll leave that like that. Uh, we will throw in a save while it is all intact. So let's just uh, yeah, go ahead and do that. Like so. Right. Now, finishing touches for this system. What should we go with? I'm thinking, I'm thinking some asteroid belts. I do like using asteroid belts. So add. We'll go to obviously rings. Right. Now I need to see how exactly far out are these planets so for instance it's pastel deluxe let's try and put the asteroid belt roughly around where pastel deluxe is let's just quickly close that right, pastel deluxe right so this orbits roughly around 5 au okay so if we go back to the rings uh, add asteroid belt uh sec on the main star right so two so we'll have it around 4.5 and we'll go to up to about eight i'd say how, how would that look so we've had the ring in it's just a demo, but there's the ring. Okay, so what I'm going to do is color, manual, light shade of red. How about that? Add ring. So there we go. So there's, there's our ring. Obviously, we can't see it too much because we're uh, on the different lighting mode. Uh, view, realistic, studio. So there you go. So you can see the asteroids better there. And I believe asteroids got a, uh, yeah, they got a uh, sort of texture update. Look at the asteroids now. They look really cool, so... Yeah, there they are there. And they're all different shapes and stuff. So, yeah, that is really, really neat. So, looking good. So, there's our asteroid belt around the main star. Second star, I think I'm going to hold off on a asteroid belt. But other than that, I think we are practically done with this system. I mean, I don't, I don't want to just fill it up with too many planets. I mean, I think it's it's more of a short but sweet system. I don't want to just, yeah, clog it up with planets everywhere. Because we've already seen it. Adding too many planets around the second star actually made its orbit. Uh, muck up a bit so we don't want to do that and then the main star i think's already got a decent amount of stuff um around it as well so yeah i think i'm going to leave it be like that so actually i'll save it again get the full system saved like so and yeah there we go so that is our pastel system completed guys so let me know what do you think of this down below um in the comments we get a full lineup of all the objects um as we finish up today so here we are so we've got obviously star a star b then we've got our gas giants we've got pastel deluxe that is really really nice uh, we got a Sally, which we made today. We have the Wasp-12B from last episode, the Rainbow from last episode as well. Uh, then this one from last episode. We had this one from today's episode. So the light green and orange shade. We had our Planet 9 last episode. And then onto the Rocky Planets. We had this one um, we made today. And then that was this one we made today here. But you can see the, there's definitely something up with the ice in this newer version of the game. We have Earth there um, as well. And then we had, um, yeah, this uh, Salby over here, which I, I, I do like the way that one looks um, as well. So, yeah, there's my pastel-coloured solar system, guys. So, what do you think of that? Yeah, down below in the comments. Um, maybe we could do a part three if you guys get any feedback or stuff I could add. Let me know. But, um, 
for the record this probably will be the final part unless um yeah a lot of ideas are in the comments about other stuff we could add but yeah that all said and done guys a massive thank you for watching today's video if you liked it make sure to hit that subscribe button um let's see if we can go for Ooh, uh, 30 likes on today's video as well guys and yeah subscribe helps on the journey to uh, 18,000 subscribers and yeah with that all said and done guys make sure you have a great day out there stay safe and i'll see you in the next video goodbye